My name is Penny Cohen. I teach primarily for the MTA program. The MTA program is for boys from South Africa, New Zealand and Australia. The focuses are improving their skills in Gomorrah and Alakha and Tanakh. I think one of the wonderful things about MTA is that South Africans and Australians often come with very different stories, different backgrounds to the rest of the Shiva, and yet they fit in so well and in fact sometimes they even excel the other students. I didn't come with such good skills but I felt like the yeshiva really catered for all sorts of levels and as I've grown in my learning I could move up in Shurim and uh, go into higher places of learning. So although I came with not such a background and not such knowledge I was helped through, helped along the way and it, was, it wasn't so difficult coming from that type of background. Here at Yeshiva at most importantly they don't only teach you Gemara but they teach you how to teach yourselves. Here you learn how to learn. The support system is amazing. You have uh, you have a Veyman, you have a Mordechai, you have a Pini Cohen, um, and they all look after you. It's like you feel that you're part of a big big family here. Um, the Rami and Akrish are uh, really exceptional, very very special people. They're always there for you if you've got any questions, any issues you need to discuss. We start off with the Gemara Shir in the morning. It's very interactive. We can ask questions. We argue. We argue a lot. Um, and we, it's a very enjoyable shield. Um, I'm originally from Johannesburg, South Africa. I made Aliyah two and a half years ago and I've been learning in Yeshivat Haritzion for the last three and a half years. Um, I'm also the Madrich of the MTA program, which is the program for Southern Hemisphere students. <laughs> you, you're studying Torah in the place where it's meant to be applied, where the Torah is meant to be lived. And there's something, there's something to that. We, um, we really feel part of it. We really feel part of our future of being in here to We get to have activities with the Israelis, go to Israeli homes, Shabbat Iruach with their Israeli friends, Israeli Chavrutot. To try and really be a part of the country and really feel what it's like to live the, your year or two years or more in Eretz Israel. He will hopefully be exposed to new venues, new ideas new values which he will integrate with what he had previously, refine himself and turn himself consequently into a much finer Ben Torah, a person whose life is surrounded with the idea of Avodat Hashem and Talmud Torah. There are three values which the world stands on according to Shimon HaTzadik and that is Torah, Avodah and Gerot Chasadim. And I think that the MTA program offers a progress and a commitment in all these three areas. Number one in Torah, people come out with a commitment to studying Torah and improvement in their skills of how to learn and teach afterwards and bring up Torah families. Number two, Avoida, which is Yerot Shammai, where a person knows that he's living in the presence of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, which definitely the Yeshiva gives you. And obviously the third value of Gerot Chasadim, which is a social responsibility and kindness to others and caring for others, which is what Rav Amital founded this yeshiva upon. Look around at your Rabbanim, look around at your Madrichim, look around at those people running B'nai Kiva, those people influencing the community. I think you'll find a large number of those guys came through this yeshiva. Indirectly, Gush has influenced the South African Jewish community over the last 25 years that MTA has been running in a very, very strong way, very profound way, whether it's through, through Rabbanim, through Madrichim, through leaders of the movement, through leaders of Mizrahi, the, the head of the Jewish Board of Deputies, uh, people like this are people who themselves came in MTA, came through Yeshiva at imbibed the messages of the Yeshiva and passed it on to the community. <laughs>